this 26 Sports and CCTV High School Football presentation is brought to you by Cadillac Casting Incorporated. Well, welcome back, everybody. It's uh, just a couple of seconds away here from the National Anthem. Um, the Cadillac Marching Band will be doing this again for us tonight under the direction of Mike Filkins. And here we go with that. And once again, a great rendition of our national anthem by the Cadillac High School Marching Band. So along with the seniors that are playing their final game for Cadillac High School football team, a lot of seniors in that marching band doing their last presentation here, a lot of seniors in the cheer squad. It's always a hard time, Jason, I think, when you know uh, you're playing your last game. Yeah, and even the seniors in the stands, you know, it's a good memory for them to come to a high school football game and um, be under the lights on Friday night, and they won't have that anymore. So um, even though it is cold and rainy, they're here to enjoy it. So, And we'll kind of spotlight some of the seniors, uh, all of the seniors here for the football team as, as the game goes on here, everybody. Uh, we want to make sure we say thank you to those kids and those families for their commitment to... Uh, the sports program, the football program here at Cadillac High School, all the years that uh, they put in in the weight room and in the practice fields to get ready for this. Absolutely. So back deep for the Vikings, we have Matthew Green, Alec Barcheski, and Cole Flint are the three deep uh, ready to receive the kick from Traverse City. We have a real hard time seeing the numbers for the Traverse City right here. Can't get that number, Jason. I don't know if you can. Football just blew out the tee. Hey, good luck with the number. It's pretty tough to yeah. see. Yeah, from about the middle of the field over this way, I can read them, but the far side of the field, I cannot. We'll see if we can find out um, from the radio crew behind us here who's kicking off. Yeah, they're going to have to have somebody designated yep. to hold the ball. That was probably your job in high school, wasn't it? It probably day, was, you yes. Hold the ball. Okay, so that'd be number 20 out there kicking off, Jason. My young eyes have finally figured it out. <laughs> Alex Parks, he's a junior. A little delay here in the start because yeah. of that windy and uh, wet conditions. Left-footed kicker there, Dan. Looks like it. You know, they, they actually, some colleges recruit those just because it gives a little different twist to the ball when it goes. Good pickup right there, and here come the Vikings coming to our side of the field. Cut back, and I don't think he's going to get close to the 15. I think he's going to be a little short right there, and that's where the Viking offense will take over. Quarterbacking tonight is uh, Mr. Lamond. Yeah, Julian came in for uh, Tip Baker when he got hurt a couple games ago. Uh, unfortunately, Tip broke his wrist. Um, he's in the cast right now, but, you know, Julian does a great job. He runs the, the flex bone offense pretty well. He's a good runner. He's a tough runner, um, makes some good reads, and, I uh, hope they look for him tonight to. I have often heard, Jason, that uh, maybe the second most player on your team is always the backup quarterback. Backup quarterback. You know, they're one play away from going They're one in. play away from that person having to step in and do everything. <coughs> so yep. Julian's done a fine job uh, being prepared all season long. 
Well, we've got uh, Traverse City, I think, may have jumped off sides there. Yeah, good play. They did. They got him off sides. It was the left defensive end right here. And uh, so that'll make it first and five for the Vikings right, right there. Makes up for the makes up for the kick return a little bit. You know, on the kick return, that's tough to teach kids to just go two yards forward rather than run all the way across the field. Yeah, you probably have a design set up coming this way, yep. and and is you know you didn't get a feel, clean field on that, and that slowed everything down. Looks like a couple yard gain right there. Yeah, Cadillac tried to run around. They got a Colin flag. Colin Johnston with that, Gary? They got a late flag that came in. It looks like an unsportsmanlike okay. conduct probably on somebody when it comes in that late. Number nine, Nick Foley with that tackle. He is a junior for TC. Let's see what the uh, officials declare here. Personal fouls on Traverse City. So oh. two plays in, and Traverse City has uh, 20 yards and penalties already. Probably not the way they want no, to start. No, not the way you want to start, uh, you know. Traverse City, they're, they're hoping, like you said, to not get anybody hurt tonight, but they also want to get some momentum going, yep. work on clean play, getting things uh, prepared for next week's playoff. Yeah, and being the size of school they are, they're going to draw somebody fairly big, and um, you know they're going to have to switch gears from playing some smaller schools. Julie Lamont keeps this one, and he's going to get maybe four yards on that carry. You know, sometimes sometimes people think, man, he's he's getting called a lot carrying the ball. Well, yeah. it's a it's a read play. And, it's a read play. Yep. You know, and they they a lot of people don't realize that it's uh it it could be any but one of three players on the field. So. You know, good job right there. They get four yards of crack, and that's kind of how this offense is designed to go is uh, they, they want to just pound it and get four yards. Julian Leggett on that last tackle. We're in number five out there for Traverse City. A couple more yards on this carry. Yeah, ref didn't give him a very good spot. I thought he ran a little further than that, but it's going to be uh, third and four. Colin Johnson with that carry and Mosley with the tackle. So it was a big third down early in the game, third and about three here. Cadillac hurries to the line. You see motion again. And then a reset. Coaching staff looked over the defense on that kind of a yeah, situation, Jason. And you know, sometimes they make adjustments, sometimes they they it's almost a decoy a little bit, but nice hole for Johnson again. And I think he'd have had more yards. It looked like his kinda feet kind of yeah. came out from underneath him there. Yeah. Well, that, whatever they looked at and saw, that was good. So, My wife and I had dinner with uh, Colin's mom last night. She yep. said she's very excited to, to uh, be brought up here and play varsity football. He's having a great year. Um, they wish yep. he'd clean his room once in a while a little more. <laughs> That's yeah, the only Collins negative a, thing they said. <laughs> Colin's a nice kid, and you know what? He's a hard worker. He's a he's a strong, fast kid. And he breaks a nice tackle there and gets about 10 more. Yep. He's done some uh, refereeing for uh, some of the uh, YMCA football programs. My daughter plays there, and I was giving him grief the other day. You know, he, wouldn't he does a great job with that. He he's really good with <laughs> the kids out there. So second and eight, Vikings with a good opening drive here this game. Yeah, this is when you like to call plays because you can call about anything. Yeah. And looks like he's going to be, man, maybe maybe a little short on that depending on where they spot it. Looked like number uh, 71, which we do not have on the roster. They gave the credit to 66, but looks like 71. We'll say that maybe is 70. Might be Jared Heathis. Yeah, he, he looks he looks almost six four out there. It could be Cole Weaver too, but yeah. Hey, whatever the case, it's uh it's gonna be third and short for Cadillac. First down again. So good play. Cadillac gets a first down. You know, that's the uh, the third time they've ran off the right side like that and uh gain some yards so they are definitely seeing something on that side of the line that they think they can take advantage of senior number 24 moswin kirksley with that tackle right there and the vikings are uh, at the tc central 40 yard line here yep uh good. four minutes into the game jason with good. a good real good um just a great offensive line push right here 
Yep, and that's that's what you need with this offense is just to get off the ball quick, make good reads, and there's another yeah. one, good read. Looked like number five on that tackle, Jordan Leggett. And Colin Johnson, Johnson with probably his sixth carry. Um, and that's that read again. Yep. You know, that's uh, Travis, or excuse me, Cadillac quarterback right here has seen a good opening here for defense. He's, he's making the right read on that. Well, uh, you know, last, last week was his first full game, and he got a little taste of it the week before, and I think every, every game that he plays he's going to get better at reading it. Um, on a night like tonight, they they probably coach him to, if you hesitate at all, just just give him yeah. the ball instead the of the pitch is a lot it. harder tonight on this read option to make with the wet football. Good good idea there, Jason. So it's going to be third and two for Cadillac, and they're at the 36 yard line. Uh, they're marching down, and uh, Traverse City hasn't made too many adjustments on on defense. They kind of run a looks like a five three five two kind of uh, defense. Johnson again, and, and boy, when they've needed the yards, they've run to their right. Yeah. I think he's got the first down there. It, it does look like he has it, but it's going to be close, Dan. I, th yeah. I don't think the ref is going to give it to him. Yeah, they're saying fourth. I don't think he got a great spot again, but it's a tough angle from where we're Coach up here. Coach Mallory says, uh, isn't that close enough to measure? And they, they're not going to give it to him. I don't I don't know about you, but I'd run the same play here. And I think I would too. Or quarterback sneak. Or quarterback it and go the same direction. And he, That's what they do. And he's first easily down. got it. Jordan you know, Lamont picks up a big fourth down play right here for the Vikings. You know, and when you have a, a odd front like that, there's a nose guard right over the center. You basically just have to tap your center and tell him which way you're going. And if he steps in the correct direction, it's a, it's a yard every time. So first and 10, Cadillac's at the 29 yard line. Um, you know, they've taken up six minutes on this drive that started with two penalties for Traverse City. And when you have as, uh, you know, Traverse City with a handful of more players than the Vikings, you know, late in the game, uh, players that are going two ways are gonna be a little tired. So if you get a good drive like this and uh, eat up a lot of offensive clock, it just helps, helps everything out in the game later on. Yep, Colin Johnson on the play and he gets another four yards. And uh, second and six for Cadillac, definitely fourth down territory. So well, We've got a timeout by Traverse City right here. Yeah, they, they're a little discombobulated over there. Um, Want to read some uh, Yeah, why don't we, uh, we mention go? our sponsors here, Jason, while we have this timeout here. Um, our presenting sponsor is Cadillac Castings. Sponsoring also tonight, Fox Mourners of Cadillac, Cadillac Tire, LC Materials, Doug Glass, Pizza Plus, and out of the Traverse City area, Cherryland Electric Cooperative, and Just Trucks, and Cherry Capital RV. We want to make sure we uh, thank those businesses and mention to you folks at home, if you're out in the area or if you're up in Traverse City and you're stopping in any of those places, uh, just give them a big thank you on behalf of the 26 Sports Group here and, and certainly on yourselves for uh, allowing us to bring uh, a high school football broadcast to you guys. Yeah, we actually have uh, three guys we're going to highlight tonight, and we'll just um, maybe tell them their names, and we can read them all later. Is that all right, Dan? Sure. Our, our players or our yeah. – uh, so, so Juju Noriega is going to be our first one in a little bit we'll talk about. He is a, a junior. Um, Isaac High, number 44, is also a junior. And then the final one we'll highlight tonight is Logan Wild, number six, a junior. Yeah, there are player sponsors – or excuse me, our player profiles here tonight. Um, and we'll get a little bit of information about them out to you guys here in a little bit. As Traverse City and Cadillac have both come out of their timeout with trying to decide what they want to do here. So it's uh, Cadillac still marching down and um, it looks like Traverse City kind of shifted to the left a little bit. Maybe they're, they're heavy on that side. Did uh, Cadillac move this time as uh, the receiver on the, our side of the field, I think, moved a little bit. You know, that's a tough one because he's probably not even involved in the play. Probably not, yeah. And, <clears throat> you know, it, you, you, if you blink wrong out there, the ref's going to see it. <laughs> so, that's well, with 5.45 to go, it's going to be second and 11 now here for the Vikings. This will be the first time in the game that we've seen them have uh, a long down situation, long yardage to get. Yep, so here's a little toss play around the right side. Nice cut right there. 
nice job right there of um, getting on. There's David Platt Jr., number 26, oh. around there. Uh, it's a tough catch, and he tried to make a move. He's going to bring up third and eight. He's got about Hayden, four yards on that. Hayden Campbell, uh, Jr., for Traverse City, did a nice job coming off his block and uh, grabbing the back of that jersey there and making a tackle. Looks like the mist is picked up again pretty strong across the field here from us. You know, Cadillac does have to be careful kind of running the hurry up is they don't have enough players to, to, to compete with Traverse City when they do that, but... Another pitch, same play. Solid tackle again right there. So it's going to, they put themselves in a, in a fourth and short. Um, looks like he's about a yard, yard and a half short. Campbell again, Hayden Campbell with a nice solid tackle right there. And uh, fourth and about two. So that penalty right now, so far on this drive, yep. hurt the Vikings there. If they uh, work through it and get the first down here. This is where you try to get them to jump like he did a little bit, but now you got to run a play. And look how tight the linebacker is. A little fumble on that, Jason. So it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, yeah. It yep. it's gonna looks be, like yeah. it was recovered by number five for Traverse City, yep. which is Jordan Leggett, but it's going to be a turnover on downs anyway. So unproductive as far as points are concerned, but eight up, seven minutes a clock. It is, and you know, that's a that's a hard thing with an offense that – that really tries to get four yards of crack. When you have a penalty like that, it's hard to recover. And, you know, especially on a wet night tonight when you can't throw the ball as well. Um, so Cadillac, Cadillac has them kind of pinned deep in the 20-yard line, but um, they'll have to have to play some defense here. So we're going to get our first look at quarterback Tobin Schwanicke. And uh, he keeps and doesn't get much at all right there. Tobin wearing number two. Looks like Ryan Cox. Ryan Cox, number 55, got a, on the tackle. Traverse City looks like they're going to split two receivers to each side here. Yeah, so they have a shotgun, uh, two by two set in a rainy, cold day. Here comes the jet sweep. Keep, Tobin keeps that one. Good read on that. And he picks up probably eight, nine yards on that. That'll bring up a third down. So the Vikings, uh, you know, after that long drive, would love nothing better to get a three and out here on the defensive end. They got to step up here on third and a short one. Traverse City Central with the ball on about their 30 yard line here as the range really picking up. And they may have stopped them. Yeah, they it's going to be job. really close. It looks like Ryan Cox got in there again. Nope, number 60. Number Owen Klaus is in there. Yeah. Cox. Ryan Cox gets credit for the tackle. But there were several others. We'll see what Traverse City decides to do here. They're going to measure, okay. So this time it's close enough to get a measurement. You know, while we uh, get this measurement, we want to make sure we mention our camera folks out there in the cold here tonight in the rain. Um, down on the field, we got Cameron Maitland bringing you the on-field shots. And uh, up here in the top of the stadium, we got Damian Brooks and uh, Bryce Emery. And back in the truck tonight, everybody, White Van Dynan is directing, and Gabby Long is uh, giving you the replay yeah, they're and all, graphic stuff. They're all uh, bundled up out there. So it is a first down. So here they come again, and they're, they're in their two-by-two two set with a shotgun. Looks like on a couple of these shotgun snaps, Tobin Schwanicke's had a little hard time holding on to that ball. Good tackle there by the inside linebacker. Number, I believe it was number 55, Ryan Cox again. You know, in weather like this, it's not only hard to be back there in the shotgun and catching that snap, but it's also hard to make the snap and we'll yeah. have to keep an eye on that as the game <coughs> goes on as, you know, we saw yeah. that fumble a few minutes ago by the Vikings. That could have been, you know, quarterback grab. It could have been also on the center, bringing it up. Number this is seven. number seven this time on the sweep. That's, That's uh, Sam. Sam Schmidt. This, uh, the shotgun like that, if you get a high snap and, and the quarterback doesn't, doesn't take their time and look it in, it's, it's right through his hands yeah. and it's going the other nope. way. So. 
Third and three for the Trojans. We're at the 38-yard line. You know, they got this big, tall receiver out here. You can't forget about him on a, on a play like this. They're going to look to the sideline and get a second uh, option here on a play. They reset. With a lot of guys our side, Jason. Here they come. There's a flag. I thought I saw a hold. I think the Vikings stopped it anyway. So I don't know. They got a decision to make there. They got a, they got going to be third, third and 12, or do they want to go fourth and five? Right. And I would think they would go fourth and five, but that's just me. Yeah, you never know. And yeah, yeah, and Traverse City's not playing for anything. They know they're in the playoffs. Other than maybe at six and two, you know, they get to seven and two, they may host. Yeah. And that's the other thing, too, is yeah. it? Yeah, and that's a big thing in, in the first round. If you, you know, it depends on if they're looking to the UP team of Marquette or. Yeah. I haven't looked. Right. Maybe we can get a. Um, Maybe at halftime we get a potential who they're going to play. And it is accepted by the Vikings, so that'll put it back to third and about 15 here. As they've moved the ball back to the 20, just past the 25-yard line. Vikings uh, drop back a little deeper on this, expecting a pass. Schwanicki's going right to reverse, reverse it. Yep, and he's like got some room. Like but the uh, closer down pretty well. Good pursuit by the Vikings back there. By number seven, Sam Schmidt. Made by number 43, Matthew Green. Matthew Green with that tackle of uh, the Sh Sam Schmidt carry. And that's, you know, so the Vikings end up looking at forcing a fourth and six instead of a fourth and four. Yeah, you know, that's. GC looks to punt. And that's, you might say, oh, it's a wash, but you made him run a play in a wet day and it could have could have yep. ended up in a fumble. Her other truck tonight is up in Lake City. Uh, Jeff Castillo's up there. As Who do they play tonight? They have Sanford Meridian coming yeah. up there. A good-looking kick by, is that the same guy that kicked it? Yeah. Uh, that was a heck of a punt. That was not, I don't think that was number 20 on that punt. No, I believe, I thought it was a lefty, though, too. His kick is down by number 43, Matthew Green. So Cadillac will take over and about the 23-yard line for Cadillac, first and 10. We'll have to find out who that was that made that kick. Maddie Madsen led us down with that. She was supposed to give us that number up here. So it looks like, uh, Dan, if, uh, if Traverse City, let's Jason's doing some cipher in here looking at the state mm -hmm. playoff. Uh, points picture right now. Traverse City West is probably going to end up playing a Hudson. Big hole. And we got a little bit of a horse collar tackle. Not sure who that is on the carry. Carry by number 40, Colin Johnson. Colin Johnson breaks free untouched. He is grabbed from behind on a horse collar tackle. Sam holding on with anything he could there. Sam Schmidt. Colin runs out to the 50, but I think they're going to get 15 more onto yeah, this. Yeah, right a hold of his jersey. Why those professionals wear those tearaways and uh, those jerseys are so tight they can't yep. make that tackle. Yep. So it looks like Dan Traverse City Central could host if they win tonight. They could host Midland Dow next week, um, and then also Muskegon Mona Shores and Grand Rapids Forest Hills is in that region, okay. that district. So and anytime you're in the playoffs hosting, and when you're, uh, you know, in our part of the state, if you can bring anybody from the south up to the Traverse City area to week, yeah, that's an advantage for. Yep, and Midland Dow, they've had they've had some pretty tough games. I know they played Mount Pleasant tough the other day, and um, they they obviously play Midland every year. We had a. I don't know what happened there, Jason. Looks like is that number two? Nope, they're going to call it back because there was a there was a whistle. Yeah. And whether it was an inadvertent whistle or what, but they did play and they stopped it. This guy stopped it, and yep. Traverse City is going to be pretty upset <laughs> because because they probably couldn't hear the whistle on the far sidelines. But I, I mean, I definitely I heard thought it. I heard it too. And I don't know if we had a quarterback keeper that had the ball ripped out of his hand as his forward progress had stopped. Um. Yeah, whatever the case, that's a – that's a backbreaker for Traverse City because they they thought they had some momentum there. So 
So as the referees are straightening that out, um, let's talk about Juju Noriega. Juju, a player profile. He's number two here for the Viking. His parents are Adriana and Mark Six. He has siblings Chrissy, Ruby, Gavin, Trevor, and Dustin. In his spare time, he likes to listen to music as well as sleeping. His favorite athlete is Lonzo Ball, basketball player. After high school, Juju will be attending Arizona State University for engineering and maybe for some few parties out there in the warm climate of Arizona. He says, go Sun Devils. <laughs> Congratulations to Juju Noriega for being one of our player profiles this season. So I think, Dan, um, they, they said it was a fumble, um, and then they said that it is going to be an inadvertent whistle that stopped the play, but they did give him the ball, which they probably just split the difference and made them both happy. So we have uh, two possessions by the Vikings. Um, both good drives, moving the ball pretty well, but both end in fumbles. And our quarter is really winding down with the Vikings controlling most of the offensive play with under a minute, under two minutes to go now. Yeah, and I don't, we haven't seen a pass tonight, and so usually when that happens, there's a, there's a quick clock as the game goes on, you know, with no stoppage of play. So Trevor City's got first and 10 on, on Cadillac's 47 right now. Nice job right there. I think that was number 20 for the Vikings out there. He doesn't make the tackle, Noah Cochran, but he uh, seals off his blocker, turns the play inside. I think Dakota Simerson. And Simerson uh, cleans it up, yep. Yeah, and, and you know, the defensive end on this side did a great job of turning it back in and getting some help from his friends. Yeah, I think that might have been 20. It might also have been number 40, Colin Johnston, turning that in as he looks to be the end on this side right now. Hand up up the middle right here. Hey, good tackle by the whole Vikings there. You know, number nine's in on the play, mm. number 40, Colin Johnson, number 44, Isaac Hyde, um, Cole Flint. Everybody's in there. It's a good team effort. You know, one thing one thing Cadillac can do is when their quarterback is carrying out a fake like that, he, he is a he is a runner, you know, and they yep. are. They can hit him. Yep. Josh Glesman with that carry for Traverse City. He's a senior. He got maybe about two yards on that. That'll bring up third and nine as the clock is ticking down to about 35 seconds to go. This may be the last play of little different, our first quarter. A little different formation. You have a trips look here. Here's the first pass yeah. of the game. No, he decides to keep it. Yeah, and he's got a lot of room. Yeah, he's quick up the middle, and, you know, they just kind of spread him out and ran up the middle there. His head was pivoting pretty well as he went through there looking over the defense. I think if he'd have been, he'd have been wiser to cut left. Yeah. <laughs> but it's always easier from up in our vantage yeah, point. Yeah, we had a good – you would have cut left for sure. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see if Traverse City decides to run one more play here or let the quarter run out. Well – Looks like they're going to. Yeah. They get one more here. Maybe they're going with the win there. They want to do something with it. They do get the playoff, and it's the keeper. Follows his uh, lead runner up, and he picks up about eight or nines. Schwanicke picks up about nine, maybe a first down. But yep. that'll end the first quarter. So the ball's going to be at the 23-yard line when we get back. Yeah. And... Uh, We'll take a quick break here. You're watching High School Football on 26 Sports and CCTV, and Jason and I will be right back. <laughs> 